Hey folks, Dr. Groovy Scott Grove here. I'm going to do a veritable plethora of groovy country lead guitar stuff that is actually a bunch of nut stuff. That's right, we're going to play above, beyond the nut on the guitar. Um, why? Because it's cool. We're having a little playground action happening today. Um, so we'll be doing stuff like... And... So if you're into that kind of thing, oh, you gotta be. Don't miss this one, okay? Let's go. Okay, thanks for sticking around. This one's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be nuts. That's right, right above the nut. Um, so if you don't have a Fender-style headstock, you are SOL. If you have something that tilts back, like on a Gibson or something, sorry, but you don't get to play. Um, but for the rest of us who bought correctly, yeah, we get to play back there and have some fun. Um, as long as your nut is cut groovy, or you can at least bend the string after you're done doing it, uh, you'll be in tune fine. Okay, the thing I was doing was playing um, harmonics on the 12th fret uh, in G, of course, going D, G, B. A little clinky, clinky note you hear, or noises you hear, or simply the string tree making noise. Okay, when I go... Right. You'll hear a noise. There you go. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're hitting D, G, B. And bending the behind the nut half a step higher. And what I did right then was bent it so it comes back in tune if it is hung up in the nut somewhere. If you don't play harmonics, still sounds groovy, okay? What I did earlier in the intro, that's coming back from the B string all the way to the A. And then taking the A string back here and bending it all the way up a whole step. So up to the B. Great at the end of a song. You can already hear that thing going. Um, as cool as it gets. You can experiment with the other ones. Um, if you're doing in G, of course. Okay, the first one was a G bend on the G string. Okay, you can do that. Um, the cooler one is on the D string. the A. Sounds great with a chord or harmonics. Um, don't forget to use the fifth fret harmonic. And of course, don't forget, you don't have to be in G. You can be in D. Go to the seventh fret. Okay. The other little trick I did was doing anything you want to get to G. Um, what that is, is doing something that lets the open G string ring, okay? Then grabbing the F on the low E string and <laughs> using all the powers of Thor and Grayskull to bend it downwards until it, it reaches the G. And 
giving it a little bit of release and back to it. It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's just too cool. So you've done your... Now, I don't care whose book you're re looking at, reading, or whatever, but that's about the coolest thing that's going to be in any of them. So thanks for checking out this, uh, I'm going to say it, this nutty video. Catch you on number 11. Take care. Thank you.